Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Ian here, Home Range Poultry. Now, every single month this week, this year, we're going to be putting up a video to teach you guys on very many things to do with poultry farming. Now, the thing about poultry farming is that you have to make it a venture that the cost of doing business is low. So here's the first question that I want to ask you guys. So you want to start out and you have chicks, which is the one thing that you must build. It's a brooder. Now, for quite some time I've been thinking, if you were to build a brooder and it's something that you're only going to use for about a month, it means that eventually that whatever you have set up will go to waste and you'll not be able to use that house again. So here is a thought. This is what I decided to do. I decided to convert a normal standard poultry house into actually a brooder for chicks. Currently this house has some chicks inside. These chicks are one month, one week old and as you can see, actually pretty enjoying the place so here's the thing how do i use these kind of raised floor houses eh, to actually convert it into a brooder so in this video all i'm going to teach you guys is how to convert a standard raised floor poultry house into a chicken brooder that you can put your really little tiny chicks the day old chicks into uh, that you can convert into a brooder for keeping your day old chicks now check here voila yep this is a brooder that we've converted straight from a normal poultry house and all that we have done inside is that we have placed gunny bags on the floor as you can see okay that makes sure that you know the wire mesh is covered and all that and then we put our standard wood shavings of course you have to make sure that the wood shavings are put up to about four inches thick now the next thing that we've done is the sides as you can see we have insulated the sides with the standard gunny bags eh? and, and 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 check this guys We've also insulated the outside. Now, the key reason why you have to do the two sides is simple. You need to make sure that the heat that is going to be inside the brooder does not get lost through the wire meshes, as you've seen. This house, as you can see up, the side is made of wire mesh. So if you don't insulate it, of course, you're going to lose up all the heat. So as you can see, we have done double insulation. And on top of that, what have we done? We've added an energy saving bulb. That's just for light. It is not for heat. So as you can see, for heat what we do eh, is that we use these miracle babies. These are your standard lantern lamps. However, the secret is in actually the fuel that we use inside to make sure that it actually provides sufficient heat. Now, these are only, what, about uh, five lamps and we can comfortably fit in here about 200 chicks and they will be warm enough. Now, here's the miracle part about it. We've just put in these lamps about uh, three minutes ago and this place is already teeming up with heat. These lamps are able to provide more than sufficient heat and check this out guys my favorite part is that it's extremely cheap you can't compare it to using the infrared bags which are damn expensive because you know obviously you're using uh, electricity so for now guys the next thing that you must make sure you have is of course the feeder with the feeder i prefer this one because you know i expect uh, these brooder chicks to be all over the place so i like the circular one instead of the circular one eh, you could opt eh, to use uh, you could choose to use these uh, long ones eh? and you could actually just put feed in it and actually put it at the center but uh, in this case uh, you know i prefer to use the the circular one uh, no particular reason for that and of course for the drinkers eh, as you can see we have put the standard five liter drinkers now the thing about these drinkers is this the reason i like to use them is because they hold way more water and uh, you know obviously you don't have to keep refilling the uh, you know the drinkers and uh, inside the water that we actually use the first water that we normally put for the chicks is actually water with some liquid paraffin and uh, you know moving forward on that we cover the rest uh, uh, during training days oh by the way guys we have a training the first training in january that is going to be on the 27th of uh, january 2018 that will be on a saturday please come through check out what we have to train you on uh, you know doing some uh, profitable poultry farming so guys subscribe to our channel from henceforth you'll be posting our videos on the home Ridge tv channel subscribe to it every single week i have to change that it's not every single month it's every single week we'll be putting up fresh videos for you guys to learn from cheers guys for any questions please post your comment down there i will always be answering your question